Got one, Dave? Oh, look at this, oh, tied nice up in the trash. Look at that beastie one. Hey folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we are out chasing big bluegills just like that. And we're with uh, Dave Gins and his daughter, Kathy. We got Pete Maliner along with us and John Schaubach. John's kind of the guy that's been fishing the silky for a while, looking for some monster gills. Got a beautiful day, sun's starting to set down and the bluegills are about to bite. Bigger perch, huh? That perch, huh? Perch are invading the bluegill spot. Today, we're fishing basically your typical early ice lake. I mean, this ice, I'll stick my hand down there. That's what we got right there. You know, this is the kind of lake you want to look for. It's probably eight, nine foot, and it's it's pretty flat, Not no deep holes here. So if you are chasing early ice fish, these are the kind of lakes you want to look for. Once you get into midwinter, these lakes kind of go away, and you need those lakes with deep water. But Nice one. Are you going to eat them or let them go? I'm letting them go. All right. <laughs> Dave, you've been chasing these fish for a long, long time now. They got the 40th anniversary house out. That's about how long you've been working on these houses, huh? Well, we've been building them that long since, yep. we, since I bought a table saw and bought some plywood and cut them out in the garage and, and built them first houses. You know, we have a thermal material now insulated uh, takes very little heat almost body heat keeps it keeps it warm in here you know over the years there's been a lot of modifications you know made at the fish house to make it easier make it more fun you know we seem to all use uh, electronics of some sort the vexilar here is what i use i decided i should mount it right to the house i just put this simple piece of angle iron on there set it right on there now all the knobs are right here in front of me you know a nice comfortable seat you know, and actually fold it on flat for a nice backrest padded. I can sit on there all day if necessary. What we have here is a unit that allows us to cover water on the lake, drill holes, and, and locate and catch more fish. Oh, here he comes. Oh, look at that. That is a nice, nice bluegill. Like he was right down by the bottom, little, little weeds hanging on him there. That's got to be, you know, close to a nine-inch fish there. And you get to see them disappear into the bottom. Pretty colors. Is that right here? All right. There he goes. Got him. Uh-oh, look at that. Birch. Pretty birch. Not quite big enough to eat, but yellow in that sunshine. Dave, you've been involved with uh, making a lot of fishing products and your, your buddy uh, John Schaubach along, he's been uh, working on a new one for a while. Uh, an alternative to, uh, to live bait, the silky. You know, over the years I talked about zooplankton and heterocopes yep. and, and copeds and these underwater things that fish feed on in the especially in the winter time. And, yep. and uh, John and his brother Jim have come up with using silk, running it through a little silicone bead. Yep. And it, it mimics the, that zooplankton that's in the water. You know, it is totally unique, something that really the fish haven't seen before. Panfish like it. Got that one too. Let's see what this guy is. Who knows what's gonna come up the hole today. Another perch, I'm on the school of perch. But you know, it's a, it's a deal where you can, uh, you know, especially if you're fishing with kids or something like that, you know, it's, you don't need bait all the time. You can uh, just have that down. Actually, when you hold it still, it pulsates too, doesn't it? Yes, you know, and, and you can do all kinds of things with it. Put more than one on, we call it stacking them. You can uh, alter your colors. You yep. get a little scissors out and trim them. You know, you, it's almost like tying a fly right out the, on the ice when you're ice fishing. Rocket. 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 Rock oh, for you. Oh, Bertie. Yeah. 
Ooh, get that trench trimmer under right. there. <sighs> nice. <job. Ooh. laughs> there you go. I tell you what, the sun is setting low. There's another one, silky and magnet maggots. Sun is setting low. I think we're gonna pack it up and head on in for Dave and Kathy Gens and his buddy Pete and John. Make sure you look up clamoutdoors.com. Get yourself some of them silkies. I'm Greg Jones. More Midwest Outdoors is coming right up.